When I was four years old, one of my earliest memories is of my family being moved three different times because we were relocated by the then uh, Michigan Highway Department because they were making room for a infrastructure improvement, building a road where our house once stood. The first time I vis visited Birmingham uh, was in like 1984. And um, the African-American community where my family lived was still very much intact. I went back 20 years later and uh, it's gone because it was replaced by a freeway. As a kid, I remember us being moved uh, because of a need in Baltimore, Maryland to build a freeway through my neighborhood. My grandparents uh, moved here uh, during World War II uh, to uh, work on the Kaiser uh, shipyards, helping to build the Liberty ships and lived in Vanport. And that's a uh, exhibit A of what happens when you have failed uh, infrastructure. As a facilitator for the Equity Advisory Group, what I see that is unique about the work that we're doing is um, bringing um, people who represent different organizations um, and different communities and their expertise around how best to serve the communities that they represent um, to the table around this project. I'm involved with the IBR because I know how much access and resources impact me personally and impact uh, my employees and impact my future employees and, um, and, and the community I serve the best. It's important for African-Americans to be involved and take um, their fate in their hands rather than have others make decisions for them. People need to weigh in. I think it's very, it's very critical that people do. And we really do have an excellent uh, group of citizens that we work with on both sides of the river. And plus we have to work with all the elected officials at the state level, the city level. So it's very exciting and it's lots of work. I think it's the once in a generation opportunity that lies ahead is how do we leverage this project, the IBR, uh, to help get folks from poverty to prosperity? We have the opportunity to totally just ignore what has been normal and actually do what is just right and fair for the most amount of people in our communities who've been harmed by these projects for generations. For me to be here, to be a part of this program, it's about um, making sure that doors remain open for, for folks who, who look like me or who look like you. And making sure that we are um, leaving a legacy of inclusion, of voices being heard, and building a, a, a framework that other large programs across the country can follow.